Hello. Hi. Hi. Shh, shh. I have to do the intro. You, you. No, need I just. To... I heard an echo before you started. That's it. Hi. Greetings, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to what I guess would be Tuesday, February twenty seventh. It is eight seventeen. Yes, I'm a little late. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry about that, but I got this uh, notification while I was just about to start the show that said I was out of uh, what did it say? I was out storage. of storage. <laughs> yeah, about. Uh, I was out of storage on uh, StreamYard, so I had to delete a bunch of shows from December so that we can make space and that the show would be on there. So yeah, so I changed my little POV over here. Hope you don't mind. Um, so you can see now oh my stuff over there. Um, you know, my stuff up there. Pee Wee, who's up there. Um, because I feel like I'm, I'm never really comfortable with it too close to my face. <sighs> so yeah, two things, uh, Dennis could be a little bit late cause he had a tying class tonight, which means that he's probably going to have drank excessively and come on here and oh, have oh, oh, oh. brown liquor. And also I just want to say one really quick thing. Um, I kind of really like Xavier and I were talking about today, but I really miss arm. Like I, I miss him being around and, you know, Indubitably. I used to just kind of constantly complain about, you know, cleaning out the computer computer and we would have like 25 clips and then arm would send me another like 17 clips to put on for cleaning out the computer. Um, and you forget how much you miss that when you don't have it. And so, yeah, I just don't want know what you got till it's gone. Yeah, I know. So I do, I do miss my Johnny. We all uh, do. If you're listening to the shows at all, uh, I just want you to know that I am. And you should know that when I send out the link for StreamYard for everybody, I still include him in it just so that he knows that, uh, you know, anytime he wants to come on, he can. So, no, we've not heard from him. He has not been on the website since February 2nd. And um, and I email him every single week to, to say, hey, just checking in. Hey, just checking in. And if I look at my text, all you see is my, my thing. Hey, just checking in. Hey, just checking in. Hey, just checking in. So, yeah. So we miss you, Johnny, and we hope everything is okay. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say at the beginning of the show. Um, the thing we're really going to talk about tonight is Howard's uh, hierarchy and the sheer amount of um, producers that he has on <clears> the <throat> show. And then we're also going to talk about that absolutely insufferable Jonathan Blitt and his need to take JD out for content for the show. And yes, Stella Rocker, you are exactly right. We miss him, but he needs to find his own way home. Whenever yes, 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 yes. <sighs> so yeah, yes, I am sure he's still alive. Yes, yes, yes. So just in case anybody... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? That's a genuine question because, you know, remember what happened with Gary Puppet and we just didn't know and until we knew? You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's just one of those things where you yeah, just don't know until yeah. you know. By the way, well, this scar on my knee, I just want you to know, is um, <laughs> I, I just can't believe it never went away. I uh, I was in Pennsylvania and I was running down the stairs because the bell rang. And the stairs are kind of steep there. And uh, Reacher was like standing right at the bottom of the stairs. And I literally just like went flying, flying over him onto my knees and my palms of my hand. And it just skidded across the, the, the hardwood floor. And I bruised both of, both of my knees. There's still a little mark right there, but this one just never went away. It's just the, the weirdest thing in the whole wide world. So I won't put that. I won't put that knee up. Sorry. Okay. Uh, yes. No, it's not rug burn. It's like wood burn. It was just kind of weird. Um, 
No, he's not on the deepening either. I went and checked and 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 <laughs> uh yeah, I'm just laughing at some silly comments. Okay, so we're gonna start the show. Uh Xavier and I and uh Danny will come in at some point That's me. in the future. And uh yeah, so you would think every day is like Sunday. Every day is exactly the same. And of it course, is. Starts with American Nightmare and just needs to fill us in on, I don't know, just the recording of American Nightmare. So now he's been uh, doing this as his song for what? 15 years, 16 years, 17 what? years? Which song? Years, American Nightmare. Since 97 was a, lot, was a while ago. 97. I don't know how many years that is. but whatever. That's like 23 years ago or something. A like long that. ass time. Drop and... It. Still feels the need to let us know about what's going on with American Nightmare. So let's get to it. Here we go. Oh, God. Who cares? Most of it, because it was the most <laughs> humiliating experience. Rob kept going, just sing. Just I, He says, I hear you on the radio singing. I, I go, I don't understand what we're doing here. I'm, 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 I got to get out of here. It was horrible. You needed Stevie Wonder yeah. to show you your part. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, because Rob sings in a very specific way. And I was trying to sing like him because he goes, try to get a little grittier, you know, like, duh, duh, duh. and I go, I don't do that. You don't do anything. You're a horrible singer. And, uh, and it's amazing that it's been over 20 years and still. Can, nobody can you imagine if the dude from Matchbox 20 was still like reminiscing about that song push that came out that year? I mean, everybody would just <laughs> crucify him. That's what this dude is doing essentially. Yeah. But the weird thing about it is that he doesn't know the words to the song after 20 some odd years. All right. I'm going to continue to decline. No, 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 no. Let's think yeah, about yeah, 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 I don't yeah. Know, let's Think about something for a real quick second here. So we've been doing a show on Stern for what? Six, seven, eight, nine years. I don't, I don't know. The, I don't like know. that. I don't know the words to the song. Do you? Uh, deep, deep down on planet X. Yeah. And that's all I know. There you go. Okay. We don't know. But you we know what? It, it's not a, it's not Rob Zombie's best, you know. It's, it's really not, not more human than human. It's not welcome to the planet, Mother Effer. It's not a, a living dead girl or Dracula. It's a throwaway garbage song. All those songs you just said, I have no idea what they are either. So oh, that's really, no. burn through the witches and something, something, something. It's not something I would ever listen to. It's not music I would ever hear. Yeah, this moment. Um, it's you know, it's kind of bizarre in some weird Mister Mixplixic sort of universe. That if he was friends with Billy Joel back when he was uh, kind of popular, do you do you think that the song okay. that starts no. out would be like a no. piano tune? All it is is that it's that weak. I'm too cool to know this, you know. No, it's but like, what I'm it's, saying if he's like the helpless friends, broad, if he wasn't like, that's, what, that's, that's what he is. He, Howard is a helpless broad. Xavier, if he wasn't friends though with Rob Zombie back in the day, do you think in an alternate universe it would have been some weird Billy Joel combination or like Bon Jovi thing that he would have done, and that uh, would have been the song that like starts us out in the morning? Well, here's the thing. Uh, that's how it came out. It was probably written in like '96, oh. and then came out '97. Bon Jovi was career was long dead by then. Remember, Nirvana saying, killed. Well, Nirvana Mick, killed Bon Jovi's ilk mix back in the day. Piddle X. I I don't know mix mix plixel mix mix plixel X. <laughs> so a Brizzo. You would absolutely think, why not change it every five to ten years? Something fresh. Because he's lazy. How to? But he doesn't know how how to, and nobody has asked him to do so. And you know, don't forget, it used to be bum ba dum bum bum ba dum ba dum. Wasn't there like a rotating? They could have, they would start with the "Give Me More" Howard Stern, that weird song. They had like a yeah. couple of tunes that they would. Kind of rotate. Well, a lot of them were bad, but then effort became a whole thing for them, and they don't like effort. Yeah, no, you're right. Music stream, it would not have been Billy Joel. It had to be metal, Motley Crue, or or Metallica. You know, one of his friends or something at the time. Um, but it would not have been that song. 
it doesn't matter because I, I pretty much think exactly Jeremy. I was just about to say that because it gets paid every time it gets played because his, yeah. I mean, we talked about that before, you know, I wonder, do you think that he gets writing credit on it too? Uh, I don't know. Uh, is that something that we can look, yeah, well, let's look, let's look it up. Uh, how do you look that up? Hey, music, music stream. Can you look that up and see whether or not he gets writer credit on that song? So think about it. So his his show gets replayed four or five times a day. Well, he, does he still do torture? Than, he doesn't do torture man either, does he? Uh, no. Hmm. I don't know. He uh, used to do that. I'm a tortured man. Hmm. I don't know enough. All right. Um. Okay. Let's move on. So I'm still sort of in my gym clothes. I um. Good for you. I've started taking Pilates, which is incredibly hard for me because everybody who's in the class has been there for like, you know, at least a year or over a year. And it's only like my fourth class and, and it's super painful, I must confess. But I happen to be bizarrely double jointed. Um, so a lot of the positions okay. get into. See, look, I have, still have that mark on this side, too. So weird. So weird. All right, let's move on. Um, he started to talk about how his wife is very into him petting the cats and that, um, you know, she took a picture of, of him doing it and he thinks that he's so, yes, my ass and my legs are super sore. Yes. But he was talking about uh, the cats and how unattractive he is. And I think he was just fishing for compliments. So let's play a little bit of that. You know, when I was a young man, I was ugly. But now oh, I'm you're heinous. Super ugly. What? <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. It's no, you know laugh. what, Howard? I look <laughs> at people's pictures. Yeah. And there's some people who don't even look. You can't tell who they were. Well. You know, because they are so changed. From how they, you look like Howard Stern. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. It's not a compliment. Thank you, Stella Rocker. Charlie Klauser and Rob Zombie are accredited writers. So it's curious. So what uh, what benefit does Howard have from well, isn't, playing? Isn't like like Danny Elfman said that the reason he sings on The Simpsons is because that gives him royalties. Is that would it be the same with this other crap? I if, know if you, if you if you look up the Simpsons theme song, uh, Elfman says that he person he they, he made sure that he's the one that does the Simpsons uh, part of the that whole intro, and because of it he gets a shit ton of money. In I see. I knew oh, I loved like you. That. I I see. So it's new for me and. Interestingly enough, I'm when I was assuming it's the same thing with Stern, I don't know. When I was still living in the city, um, uh, which you would love, you would appreciate this. Uh, where I used to go get my lashes done, the yes, yes, yes. building that that's in, the originator of Pilates uh came to America and started Pilates in this building on Eighth Avenue and like 54th Street or something. And all of the reformers that are in there are the exact ones that were there for the last like 40 years or something. And they're still in like amazing working conditions, this old loft with like, you know, 15 foot ceilings, 16 foot ceilings. And it's just amazing. I know we digress digressed, but sorry. Howard doesn't have to pay to play the song. Doesn't have to pay to play songs on the rate. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm, Am I reading that wrong? Howard doesn't have to pay to play the song. Don't have to pay to play songs on the radio. No, because uh, they have a general license, the the Sirius XM. So that's that covers that. But I mean, yes, just uh, didn't they raise the prices because they had to do some sort of royalty to artists or something like that? When that he, I don't know he, enough. It just it just stands. Yeah, for we don't we don't know what we don't know. Let's be honest. It has to be a reason that he does this because it just it just makes no sense that he wouldn't have changed it at at this point in time. Yes, I uh, just once again. I just honestly, the the shortest answer is you know Oxum Razor. He's just lazy. 
Oxum's razor. Look at you coming out with like Oxum's razor. Wow. I'm just saying, it seems like the most logical thing is it takes no creative thought to play the same tune for 27 years. But they switch it up a little bit, apparently. You know, oh, they, they've literally have had like five variations of it. If 20, that. 20. No, no, that's a new. Yeah, okay, new sure. It was new. Down. XX. Um, Rupert Pumpkin says SXM charges the add on royalty fee to pay the writers. Interesting. All right. This is a world I know nothing about. I would, I would love to talk more about the, I wouldn't honestly, it's, 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 we've, we, we've talked about this to Ed noisy. Blue interfaces. It's just, just yeah. like, he's just, he's just a lazy piece of crap. That's all it is. Let's continue, let's continue with how handsome Howard is. And of course he harkens back to a fond memory that we all have of him. Here we go. Oh yeah. I'm not that good looking. I, I mean, you know, geez, it's, it's you are, you have, you're very handsome. I don't know Thank how you. many people have to say it. More, more people. Oh, we, I mean, because every woman who comes in here, all these beautiful actresses, they love your looks. Mm. Not all of them. Yeah, like that one who told me I was slapped a yarmulke. No, not her. <laughs> she was <laughs> <He> is. one person. <laughs> oh, she was one person. But you know what? We never, we never forget that moment, do we? Do we ever forget that moment? I say Absolutely no. Absolutely not. I say no. <laughs> I'm really supposed to look like that kid. That's you right. were he supposed to, but something happened. Yeah, I was born to the that parents. slapped the yarmulke. I did. <laughs> what? Hello? What does that mean? She thinks I look very Jewish. Oh yeah, I do. Oh. <laughs> Where are the horns, Howard? <laughs> I'm really... Where are the horns, Howard? Yes. He's my favorite. Hi. I know. Jamie Presley, we speak your name. That was... You know, it's almost like when um, when what's her face called John a dabbler. It's like one of those things that just just kind of comes back to haunt you time and time and time and time over again. Chris, Chrissy Mayer. Chrissy Mayer, uh, yep. That is just one of those things that is just so silly and so funny like every that time. It's, it's, That's you were supposed to, but something happened. Yeah, I was born to the wrong You got parents. slapped the yarmulke. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Love the giggle. She thinks I look very Jewish. Oh yeah, I do. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so, Dennis, you've only missed three clips, so you haven't missed anything. Darn, I missed the part of the show that I missed. How Excellent. was how was the Italian class? Oh, va bene, va bene. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, in, 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 uh, imparato uh, uh, un... Uh, 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 verbe uh, passato irregolare. Oh, you're so cute. You know, know. Uh, when are you actually going to be able to put this into play? Does your uh, wife uh, 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 like uh, somebody to converse with? See, see, you What are you What are you drinking there, Dan? Uh, uh, a, a, uh, Un vino rosso schifo. Uh, uh, compra at the uh, Italian club. <laughs> Italian club. Ugh. There you go. What's going on here? <laughs> wait, 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 we're just talking. We're just talking to schifo. Yes, you is. Denny's wine. I was telling them at the beginning of the show that I was missing arm. And as much as I would bitch about the 5,000 clips that he would send me, especially on nights when we had 30 clips, I don't care. I, I miss him more than I miss him doing stupid cleaning out the computer. T today actually would have been useful because what they did on the actual show was, was garbage. Yeah, it was horrible. But was that's what we're going to talk about today because I'm so excited to talk about all the people that work on the show. Yes. Um, all the money that's being spent on like stupid dinners and things like that. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, when you have a Ponzi scheme, that's what happens. <laughs> Lucha Club says your Italian is worse than Polly Walnuts. Oh, fungul. All <laughs> yeah. right. Ba fungul. Still got. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bacha, bacha mi culo, okay? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Wow, kiss my ass. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right. So, no, it's Oscam. It's not Ockcams. It's Oscam. Oscam. 
Ask Oscar. him. Yeah, we were talking about Ask Him's razor. Don't ask. I, I don't want to know. You don't want to know. It's okay. We'll join the club. We're only at three three clips. Um. So yeah, he's been really into talking about Cher lately, uh, and about how there is some no, TV Hulu, show so. again on Hulu about what was the name of that club called? The people that used to do all that like. Uh, musical beds and stuff like that uh i didn't I have no idea what you're talking about okay music a club that did musical beds no like, no, no, no 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 occam's razor occam occam's razor occam's razor is that like a is that like a remington occam's razor oscar meyer wiener razor yes Oscam. <laughs> wait that kind is it wrecking crew Wrecking Crew, yes, 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 yes. Wow, look at that. So he was watching a show on Hulu about the Wrecking Crew. And the Wrecking Crew happened to be like a group of musicians who were kind of like session musicians who basically were um, were the musicians who in the 70s, 60s and 70s, pretty much put down the beds of, uh, just a shit ton of music that was out there. So he started talking about the Wrecking Crew and you know what their contributions were to the history of music. So they were a collective of U.S. sessions musicians. I mean, this has nothing to do with the clip that I have. But oh, okay. I thought this was more of this is your wiki. Uh, uh, suffice it to say, Cher came. Are you snoring on us, you motherfucker? Oh, 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 I'm sorry, what? <laughs> So what's what's this about arm? I mean, uh... <laughs> wow, <laughs> he, he dead named you just now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was talking about Cher. Cher came up, I guess. In oh, the oh, food. her. Yeah. Um, can we talk about, about, about her, muddy waters? Or her, 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 her pretty little titties. That's what. Yeah, pretty little titties. Even though she's what is she like eighty now? Oh, yes, she is. She is. Um, she's very old. <laughs> Know she's dating like a 30 year old or a 28 year old what do you expect no seriously it's like kind of weird it is weird that's strange actually uh, well you think there's any tread left on those tires no okay. no it's, it's just like just you just kind of try to find a corner and, uh... <laughs> again has nothing to Oof. do share reveals what it's like to date a much younger boyfriend alexander Oof. edwards she just started texting me. So she's 77 years old and oh. she's dating a dude that is 37. No. Well, good for her. So she's 40 years younger than her. Listen, you know what? God, yeah. what? if you can bang a guy that is 40 years younger than you, I'm. You, you, know, you know, she does. She gives him a gummer. Oh, oh. 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 that is so wrong, so wrong. So here's him. So I was talking about the Wrecking Crew. Oh, the Wrecking Crew was a douchebag '80s band, wasn't it? I just died in your arms tonight. Did I not just say that it was the Wrecking Crew? I it's don't know bit. what you're talking about. Why don't you listen? Now, I, I never... do. It's just like it's so. Oh my God! What the 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 show that we cover is just look at Puzzle. He's beside himself. He can't believe we're still doing this. Where's Puzzle Cam? Where's Puzzle Cam? Oh, that was Cutting it, I, Crew. I, I, sorry, I, 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 there it is. There's sorry, Puzzle guys. Cam. I confused the Wrecking Crew for the Cutting Crew. Uh oh, wait a minute. Why is it doing please, that now? Please forgive me. See, you made me do it. Hey, you fucked it up. Can, can, can I, we, can how we did I, talk how about did I fuck it up? You gotta remove it until you can. How about Suzy Q or Expose? Can we just move on to that? Why is it doing that? So Cher hates him. You figure that out while I tell you about Cher hating him. <laughs> uh, but she does. You know, if you met her, she wouldn't hate you. Yeah, she'd see how handsome I am and then no. really dig me. Oh, my God. This thirsty old fool. Thirsty, thirsty. He is so thirsty. It's thirsty. Not funny. Thirsty. Look at you. I cannot believe you don't have puzzle cam set up. I did, and then it's it's it, you know technology you know, technology you know, does this. It's terrible. You know what? I, I it, it, he's afraid that we're gonna start talking about Samantha Fox. So, I, I, oh <laughs> God, I had such a crush on Samantha Fox. 
You know who? Hey, I hey, hey, Dennis. 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 Taylor, Taylor Dame. Dame. Girls need love too. Yes. The Dame was really cute too. All right, um, let's, let's try this again. All right, well, you do that on your own time while I continue with our clips. We only have 18 tonight, so it's not like... Oh, you yeah, think you were talking about the, later the, in the yeah. game, wasn't you? That's good, Martika. Like a die soldier. <laughs> Puzzle yeah, game. here we go. All right, all I see is this podcast like, getting good. Look, 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 look what's going on. That's the real... There we go. There we go. ...reality of our lives right now. I'm removing him until you get that set up. Yeah, exactly. Coach, it it worked. All right, it's good now. <laughs> it's pop good pop now is in it's your good. Face. and she's gonna go over can, to her spot I, now she's done can we just go, move on to a pia sadora come to talk <laughs> oh i like oh pia sadora there was something there yeah, she was cute she was cute you know that she was her in nipples were way too big though no, no but nipples can never that. be too big oh that, they were a little too big I mean, you can hang stuff she had on a lot you going go. You know, like you can... those things were like big old pepperonis, bro. No, she was a child actress in Santa Fe. But you, well, if you have your keys so you can leave, you can just put them there and you take them when you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stressing now. I'm stressing. Okay. You, you can enter. You can enter. Obsessive uh, alcoholic. I'm actually I, ambidextrous, bro. It's all set up. So you figure it out. Uh, let's see what's going on in the puzzle cam. Nothing, just the wine, the Mopar, and somewhere for her to lay her head. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much what's happening. She's sitting on my. She's sitting right next to me. All right, we're moving on. So the whole conversation today went back and Ooh, forth and back and forth, and, and was, came back and came why. back and came back to how many fucking producers there are on the show. This is what I wanted to highlight tonight is the amount of producers and uh, JD versus Jonathan Blit and everything that happened with that. So let's talk. Oh, is, is the cam ready? Cam's yeah. ready. Oh, hey. Now it's the show. Hello, Puzzle. Welcome to the show. Glad you could join us. Nice yes. that you cleaned Hi, Puzzle. Up. Hi, Puzzle. She's uh. She's real excited. You can see that. She's like, she's like, don't touch to me. Don't talk to me, douchebags. <laughs> don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. <laughs> Man, cool. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Don't talk. Don't talk. Just, just like, no talking, just licking. That's all. Don't speak. I know what you're thinking. I don't need a reason. Yeah, she don't can. tell me yeah. because there we go. Puzzle cam. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, oh. Nice. Need a tingle. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, I love, I love that we have the puzzle cam. I just have to it tell you. It is the best thing that's happened to this show. Like the silliest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Thing that we have done, other it's than, crazy. other than Riley. This yeah. is what if this Puzzle thing. had a Patreon, he would just. Puzzle has an OnlyFans. Just score like. <laughs> <laughs> OnlyFans when you're done here. Yeah, you sure. done here. I, I'd probably join. <laughs> All right, can I move on now? Sure. So okay. we're going to talk about producers at Kitty Porn. Exactly. We're going to talk about producers. I, I've lost my. Computer. All right. So the thing with them and producers yeah. is that basically they instead of raises they give them titles. That's all. I mean, seriously, anybody in radio can be a producer. It is legitimately what they do at, at Walmart and 7 Eleven. Dude yeah. comes in, hey, hello, I am a new employee. You're a manager now. This is wonderful. Do I get raised? No, but you get to work around the clock without getting any compensation. Without getting any overtime. That's exactly yeah. right. That's exactly so, how it is. I mean, stop. And, 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 and let, let, me, let me, for any naysayers there about this oh, who's producer the thing. Who's the naysayer? What naysayer? Is can a naysayer? I give you an example? Of why this is a hopeless endeavor by these people when yeah. you when you okay let's say okay i'm working for howard stern they gave me a producer title so that'll look good on you know next time i, I apply for a job or try to get a right. gig somewhere else the first thing they're going to do they're going to look at it it's going to show up maybe you uh picked up pencils in in uh, college and you were a producer for howard stern they'll, yeah. they'll look at that and they'll go that's not good enough and if you're lucky they'll but say can we get a reel from you? But they'll be an asshole. They'll no, be no, an no. Howard Stern really important. asshole. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. So excuse me. when you excuse try me. to get a gig anywhere, 
they're going to ask you for a real because they don't want to hire some some dude that just got a job because of nepotism or whatever. And what are they going to be able to produce? Like honestly, honestly, honestly name, real? in the last couple of years since we've done the show, name one bit that someone could actually submit and go, this was my jam. Again, again, there are sycophants out there who, regardless, I'm talking sycophants, they will um, still be Howard Stern fans, like the dude from Guardians of the Galaxy, and the head of best. yeah, but that no, no, but he didn't, Netflix. he didn't try out for that. That was like, oh, dude, come on, well, over. nobody's trying out for that right now. Nobody's yeah, leaving. But if you're show. a producer, this is real. You have to show that you produce something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, well, listen, mean, when you listen, w- one of your gigs, if you had someone come in and they just came from full sale, but they had no idea what the hell the, the how the industry uh, functioned, and they show you the resume and there was nothing on it except for producer Howard Stern or something like that, would you hire that person? No. Personally, no. Exactly. Exactly. But, and that's the way, it, dude. There's so many producers, so many actors, so many. But a, camera guys, audio guys, lighting guys, they're, they're trying to get gigs out there that are stern people who, yes, like, yeah, okay, let's go. So, bring them. You know, the thing is, JD is, you know, we're probably gonna play the clip that JD is a uh, what is he, a media producer? Mm. <laughs> what do you freaking do? Starting my producer clips right now, so here we go. Yeah, yeah, my so number. The first one is this kind of retarded guy. Here we go. When she was an old jazz player, so that's, you know, she was taking those jazz influences. Those guys would all play in the L.A. jazz clubs at night and then make their money during the day in the studio. So who are you again? The beat goes on. Me? Yeah. Who are Me? you again? I, I forget. You work here? I'm your producer, Derek Jones. Yeah. I used to, uh, you know, Derek Jones. Robin singing. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't know who Jones. I didn't know. You Nobody were. knows Derek Jones. He's behind you it all. Derek Jones. <laughs> Suddenly, Derek Jones is in our life. Well, we'll go produce something for Christ's sake. All right. See you later. I'm, Thanks. I'm busting your balls. Derek. Go ahead. Always good to see you. Yeah. They have no idea who he is. So Derek Jones happens to be the dude that looks like every other dude on the Howard Stern show. Yes. But what he would be known to uh, all of you for in the radio gunk world is he seems to be the only one who takes pictures at parties and weddings and stuff like that and posts it on his Instagram, which naturally I could not find in the amount of time I had after Pilates to find the Instagram. So I did not. Um, However, Uh, however, oh, I was having a discussion about Pilates before you, uh, uh, you take class. I take Pilates. It's, you know, it's one of those things. Um, We're going to continue with producers because that is a running thread throughout the entirety of the show today. So he's like, who the fuck is this guy? Why is he here? Why is he an executive producer? And what do you do, Gary? So here we go. Hey, Gary, I thought you were a producer. Why do we need him? (laughs) We we hired him to do your job, I guess. Howard, we're so big now. We have many producers. Really? We have have segment producers and line producers. We have producers coming out our ears. So big now. So big now. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Stop the stop the clip. He said we have line producers and segment producers. Does he understand that those are totally two different jobs? Like they have yeah. nothing to do with each other. No. The line producers in charge of the finances and keeping the show on budget. They have nothing. A segment producer is a creative person. They have nothing to do with each other. The fact that he would doesn't even matter. They have that, both. They're just saying they have producers so, coming out of their ass. Yeah, who doesn't have a line, line producer? Is, yeah. Okay. It's just the money like man. Having, uh, I don't know. So you know what the the funniest part of the entire statement is that they're so big for a show that does nine hours a week. You know, literally maybe twenty six weeks a year. Uh, you know, like three days a week, twenty six weeks a year. I mean, literally, how do you have so many people pre- creating so little? So little. I think so little. I think it went on all day today. Let me know. Senor Let me producer. Uh, senior, <laughs> senior producer. Ah, senor, senor producer. He's senior, senior producer. I didn't know we were speaking Spanish. But he said it so oh, weirdly, wow. too. And what are you? Uh, yeah, what are you? <laughs> I mean, I'm senior producer. Uh, senior, senior, senior producer. Ah, senor producer. Senor producer. 
Hang I didn't on. know we were speaking Spanish. Oh, my. Hang on. Yeah. He's in charge of the Spanish division. We had a hire a bunch of, We had to hire Derek to do uh, Gary's job. <laughs> well, Gary's sleeping. <laughs> Gary's sleeping on the job. <laughs> Listen, he put in his ears. Oh, God. Anyway, uh, so, yeah. So we're going to continue with the producer thing. We're going to come back to it momentarily, but let's talk about. Um, so we went into this whole thing about Sharon Stone and yeah. talking about how he was so proud of himself. I mean, all the flexes that he does lately are just, they're so not, not a flex. A flex. Like he's well, talking about how. Coming up, with the, coming up is the flex. It's at the letter, it. It's what you know, it is. At the Letterman show, he was scheduled to come on before Sharon Stone. So in his world, the Sharon Stone is lesser than he because he gets to be the uh, the opening guest. And, you know, the reality is when Howard would go on a show, especially since all three of the nighttime shows, except for Leno, were based out of New York. It was a big deal for Howard to be on because everybody in the audience was local, basically. Right. And so, of course, you're going to start with a guy who's going to garner the most attention and the most applaud and the most audience. And that would always be Howard. That would always be I, for sure. You know, not taking anything away from him. He was a huge, huge part uh, like Trump, because there's not much difference between him and Trump in terms of their popularity when they peaked how they were New York denizens, how they were part of the, uh, the, the fabric of New York city life. They truly, truly were. I mean, I cannot take that away from him when he was hot. He was the hottest in New York. But truly. this, but this flex was. is just ridiculous because yeah, you know, and even back Polo then was good for a while too. One at a time, one at a time. Xavier, let Dennis talk. Go ahead. But Dennis. even back then, Sharon Stone was a much, much more intriguing. Oh, my God. No Sharon kidding. Stone. No kidding. I mean, mm -hmm. honestly, as a man, I'd rather see Sharon Stone before I saw him 1,000%. One, 1, Agreed. So Sharon apparently was being interviewed on, I don't know, Letterman. some magazine, some show, some something. Oh. And she was talking about the pitfalls of being famous in society today and it's a long clip but i i just let it kind of go a little bit and Good we will, we will pause it in between or whatever but let's just uh let's just let it go a little bit and you can hear howard's you know ridiculous myopic thoughts on James talking Stone. about the financial cost of fame she goes you got to pay fees for security publicists makeup artists and managers well that's true Yes. I got a lot of friends in showbiz. You got to have I, a whole staff. Yeah. And they're giving away 35% of their income. And I was always like, I guess I'm not in show business. I ain't giving 35% of my income away. Mm -hmm. How much do you think he's giving away? Seriously. Well, all right. Well, well first of all, remember, Buckwald. Buckwald doesn't take out of his salary because Buckwald gets paid separately. So why? there's a percentage right there. But why? Why because that's the contract they made with Sirius that Buckwell gets paid se separately. Mm -hmm. That was in the first one, and I, I knew damn well no they never changed that. So Buckwell always gets paid separately. So there's what is it ten percent the uh, agents usually get? Yeah, so ten percent right out there. But you know he's so he's but he's still probably paying twenty to twenty five percent. He has security. He has yeah. staff. He ha I mean you know he has assistants. He has all these people so on his layers, payroll. So many layers of payroll. Yeah, so nothing. he is he's so full of it, right? With this, this is so how much do you think those wig engineers cost? Oh god, a good I wig know. like he has that that that's like that's like 50 they need grand. scaffolding, they need, let's uh, let's they need continue. a lot of rivets. Let's continue. I, I, I'm, blue. Show I'm in radio, that's hardly show business. You're not in radio. Fees for security, publicists, makeup artists, and managers to picking up every check. She goes, you go out to dinner, and there's 15 people at the table. And who gets the check? You do. That's right. You get the $3,000. That's, that's check. you're an idiot if you do that. So I guess people are, uh, you know, really perturbed by this comment. Because, you know, <laughs> listen, you're lucky you got that kind of dough. That's what they're saying, but. 
I know what she means. It's so cute because mm, about six clips from now, you're going to hear about Jonathan Blitt. Yeah. Loser, no name, low level producer on the Stern show is going out with JD and spending $1,100 on a. I have, th- I have very, very thoughts on this. Two, thoughts. We're going to come back to it. Exactly. But, but please do go on about poor Sharon Stone paying $3,000. For a dinner, you asshole. When I go to dinner, yours truly picks up every... I, I was telling some people this morning about this. What people? I Years ago, I got invited to yeah, what dinner by people. a bona fide billionaire. When I yeah, say was, billionaire, I don't even black, mean this right? guy's got... Yeah, one. it has to be black, yeah. Black. Maybe two, three billion. Billion. Oh, definitely black. <laughs> don't even ask me how this dinner came about because I don't go anywhere. But the guy for years had been after me. You got to come to after dinner. You. So after got to come to dinner. And he was always telling me he has tons of celebrity friends and stuff. And, you know, that in other words, it would be good for me to be friends with him, too. Be- so P.S. He goes out to dinner with this guy and his wife and blah, 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 blah. And he wants to get the fuck out of there because it's going on too long. So he he even though he was invited to the dinner, he asked for the check. And thought that he should be the one to pay. And so he was physically ill over the fact that he had to pay for a dinner that he went out to with a billionaire. But, but that, but you know, the, 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 the problem with this is that he's the one wanting to run out. So at that point, you're no longer a good guest. <laughs> exactly. You're, you're a terrible when guest this, at that point, And you damn well need to pay for it. Years ago, this is oh, years ago. Got it, got it, got it, got it. But you know the thing is, you know, because he has. Remember, we're dealing with a moron here. I mean, Black is Leon Black's not a not, not a good guy, but he's a smart guy, and <laughs> obviously, talking to Howard had to be almost painful because Howard probably couldn't understand most of the stuff he was talking about. Yeah, I know, but you know what? <laughs> Leon, a Leon Black is very much the star fucker. And everybody else. So, of course, he probably lives not too far from Howard. Mm-hmm. You no, know, this is like one of those people that he would love to get together with just to schmooze, just to schmooze. And, um, and I just kind of feel like, uh, it's so funny because whatever the bill was for that dinner, I'm pretty positive it's not nearly as much as what Jonathan Blitt paid for dinner with JD. I don't know. I mean, if they went to one of the really nicer places in New York, I it. you know what? They were probably in the four Hamptons. People. It was four They're people. The Hamptons. I'll even give you $200 per person because don't forget he doesn't drink. Oh right? yeah. That's so right. It's not like they're going to like share. Beth, a, but Beth does, but it's not like they're going to share more than like, two or three bottles of wine. You know what I mean? That's true. Okay. So I don't think that it's as expensive as we would think. I, I, I was figuring it'd be about three to four grand. No. You know what? Oh, I well. I have rarely been out to a meal. It might, the, the most expensive meal I've ever been out to was at Per Se, mm-hmm. which was like $400 per person kind of thing. Or so $1,600. Um, but that included... Um, drinks, your wine and yeah. tasting menu and whatever. I mean, it's a lot of fucking money, and it's only good when it's other people's money. Only, I mean, it's the only time a meal like that is good. Is- no, I know we said Leon Black, financier for uh, Epstein, <laughs> been buddy. Hey, Jared, what are you saying? Hey guys, I got shot yesterday. It was a drive by here on federal land in Florence, Oregon, through my RV's window. Had it been half an inch higher, God, I'd be dead. Hospital next four to six days. Jesus, Jared, what are you talking about? We got somebody did it shot by shot into his RV when they drove by. Jared, Jared, question: Are you? He's still in the hospital. Yes, he's listening to us in the hospital. We're making him feel better. Hey, can can you give me some Zanny bars, bro? Jared, Jared, I am so sorry that this happened to me. To you, to To me. me? Sorry, this happened to me. Can we talk about. Black we are sorry. It happened to you too. Well, I mean, you know, it happened to black guy too. So, but no, it, it happened in his house. No, it happened to it happened to uh, Beanie Mac too. Beanie Mac, yeah, black guy. house. But it was a it was a, a holdup. Yeah, it was a holdup, but it was you know, not on federal land and a drive. Oh, hey, Mister D, you can DM me, bro. Well, Jesus, Jared, 
um, can you tell us where you got shot? I and and I'm really curious. It sounds like in the body. I know, but um, since I don't know anybody other than Beanie Mac who has ever been shot, what did that feel like? Like I'm I'm really curious about this. It sounds like it hurt. Beanie shot. <laughs> If you want to come on for a few minutes and tell us about it? Beanie I did shoot back, to... so I'll give him. I'll give Beanie, Beanie that. Beanie, Beanie did shoot back. He did Beanie shoot back. Hero. Seriously, Be but Beanie went through a lot of rehab. I mean, he. Well, yeah, I that mean... was a tough. That was a tough shit that he went through. Jared, seriously, it sounds like he got hit in his in, up in his chest area because a half inch means near his heart. Jared, that, that's pretty scary. He, Jared, do you want to come on and talk about it? I'll send you. Wait, a, isn't this uh, how the, the isn't this how the devil verse got all that porn on their thing? <laughs> I don't know. We should call for this. I, I, we we have to have a delay. Jared, do you want to come on and talk about it on the side, just under the heart? Oh my god! Yep, Jeez. told you. Jared, do you want to come on and talk about it? Turn I don't know if he's in much. I don't know if he's in much condition to talk. Yeah. I mean, he got I'm shot sure. for years if long. Might, if he can, can talk, if he can type. Hey, oh, we yes. talk about Pia Sedora, Jared. Jared and, and her and her key hanging nipples. Yeah, Jared, absolutely. listen to me. Jared, listen to me. You Go to, to radiogunk at gmail .com and send me an email, and I will send you a link, and you can come on and tell us about it. Okay, so this I'm. This is a weird I'm, show. I know that we're always so random, but this is good. I, I love I love talking about this. So Jared, okay, do that. Radio gun at gmail.com. Jared with the um, rules you're on. We're gonna <laughs> <laughs> six hole Jared, you're on the air. I don't see how this could go wrong. Uh, you're right. So, what could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong with this show? So uh, everyone producer, let's talk about that. Hang on. Here we isn't go. Now starting John got demonetized because some dude just started. You know what? Posting random. Jared is a Jared is a uh, Jared is a good person who has been sure, on sure, a while. Sure, so. he's a stand-up dude. Oh, let's get the report from Gary, man. So go ahead, Gary. <clears throat> oh, okay. So we're it's a, our crack team is aware of this. We were just talking about oh, it. They were talking about a we're trying book to get an advanced copy out. of the book, and we're working on it. I hope uh, Derek's involved. But I need my top producers <laughs> on this one. <laughs> <laughs> How many producers are on this one? You know, everyone here is a producer. Is who is who's like a regular person that works here? Everyone I talk Nobody. to on my staff, they, they say, "Oh, I'm a producer." I don't think there's one person who doesn't have a producing Let's title. See. Derek's a producer. Mehmet, I guess. Uh, Mehmet, listen to this shit. Mehmet, he's, he's a like even know he's guessing about Mehmet. I, I'm right. guess, I guess he's if like you're a, field a producer. producer. Though, why don't you know the other producers? It's like Jews when they walk in the room, they know it's another Jew. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, 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 there's a lot of titles going on here. But, but, we also have writers, just writers, which is not oh. just, but we have writers on our show that are not producers. Here, I just got to know, Mehmet is a writer producer. You yes. can't find someone ah. who doesn't. So is Sam just I'm the a only one who's not a producer? What, babe? Is Sam just a writer? I guess Sam is. You know, I don't know, but we're gonna check that out momentarily because I'm I'm really interested in knowing who's who on this show. So, so I went to the LinkedIn and. I hate oh, that I went to the LinkedIn because, of course, I had to actually sign on. I had to log on. Close. Did you go into? Uh, did you go into invisible mode? You need to go uh, invisible mode when you do this stuff. Not. I uh, signed in as myself. Oh dear yeah. lord! But you can go invisible. I always did invisible when I. So start, that I can go to the Stern Show and see all the thirty-two people that are on LinkedIn that are that have tagged the Stern Show. Look what we got here: research producer. Audio production, technical producer. I don't know who this person is. Executive producer, writer, producer, uh, associate talent booker, audio what? production assistant, comic, comic, video producer, uh, VP of technology, staff, well, you know who that is. office manager, assistant to the executive producer. IT manager, personal assistant, general manager, writer, producer, certified IT professional, student, blah, 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 fire commissioner. I don't know what that is. Technical fire commissioner at the Stern researcher, Show. Researcher. Comedy. Oh, like, wait, wait, stop for a second. That That's what's his name? Um, oh, uh, I can't think of his name. The guy oh, that did Lump. What? The comedy in quotes, because that is true. Where are we? No, no, down the bottom. The oh, I can't think of his name. He did lump. I can't. Else, I I. Oh, we don't name. have access to that profile. 
Oh my God! What the hell is his name? Come on, help me, help me, chat. I, 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 I shouldn't know his name. This He's guy. the one who gave fifty dollars to Ronnie for for his for his for his wedding. That guy. Somebody, somebody will come up with it. Uh, talentless, writer, talentless senior bastard. producer. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Freelance commercial director, filmmaker, parody song contributor. I mean, everybody is. This is like somebody. the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I know it's kind of it's... crazy. My trainer, that's who it is. My trainer, yeah. A Mike trainer. Putting comedy uh, in Jared quotes. Sent, wants you to send him a link. I'm Thank waiting. You. I'm waiting for his email to come in to me so that I can. Pew pew. Pew pew. Pew pew. pew pew pew. I don't have any email from you, Jared. I'm waiting. Radiogunk at gmail dot com. Trainer first. So I'm waiting. I know. Yeah, I send a link. Yeah, I don't see how that could go wrong. Swing yeah. around the world and come back to you. Oh, hey, I need to mention something before we continue with the show. So in honor of Arm, uh, Boyce on our website at radiogunk.com has just put together a fantasy football baseball um, Wait, thing. Wait, what sport is it for? Fantasy football. Oh, <laughs> How, how, how are we doing this? Are we scoring the baseball like football? I'm sure. Uh, how many touchdowns they football. score? <laughs> fantasy, fantasy baseball league. <laughs> Boys has put together a fantasy football league and um, fantasy baseball league. We're yeah, the XFL. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I really have no idea what I'm saying. Fantasy Baseball League. And so, if you go to radiogunk.com uh, backslash. Oh, Clee Torres, this is the best. APB on Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Wait, why? Because, you know, the RV got shot. <laughs> why is he filming out in Oregon? Um. Jared, I'm waiting for you to. Um, I know I'm cu I'm I'm copying puzzle right now. If I could lick myself, <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight, guys. Share, sharing, because sharing's free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I had a little tequila tonight. I'm sorry. I'm waiting for an email from Jared so we can hear about his shooting. So we'll come back to that at some point in the near future as soon as we get something from him. So there's obviously no junior producers at the Howard Stern show, which is confounding Howard to no end. So here we go. <sighs> Gary, you don't even know. Derek is a senior producer. I didn't even know we had that. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <clears throat> ah. These are all... Uh, Guys who barely went to college. They were suddenly senior <laughs> producer. This is some show. You can't find Does someone on this show. Say, Again. I'm senior producer. <laughs> Again, a total flex on Howard's part because he wants us all to know that he has so many people, so many people so for many. a show that is on nine hours a week. a week. Think about this, guys. Nine hours a week. Nine hours a week. Everybody's and, thinking. Yeah. And, and actually, in reality, it's it's uh actually it's actually only um, <clears throat> eight and a half hours because there's an hour and a half of commercials. Oh my god, break. the commercials have been so crazy. So, <laughs> let's let that settle in. It's only two and a half hours a day. Um, so it's actually actually it's seven and a half hours. It's only yeah, it's only seven and a half. Hours. I'll give you nine hours because sometimes he oh. works from seven to ten thirty. Uh, seven to uh, he does not go past ten thirty anymore. Ten forty five, maybe sometimes. Yeah. Not anymore. I less is know. less. Less. Thank is you, Max Hine. I will place that in my G string. A dollar. Do you know how hard it is to put pet pennies in your panties, you silly boy? Well, I've tried that. It, it, it's not very pennies, appreciated. Pennies, pennies, Dennis. Pennies, pennies. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. It's... 
Jared, just by the way, still waiting for your email. I've gotten nothing from you, but you know, again, it has to go through Cuba. So there's that. All right, let's move on. Still on the same clip. Here we go. You can't find anyone on here who's even a junior producer. <laughs> I don't think we I don't think we have that title. I don't think that we do, wow. we have the title junior producer. But anyway, yes, I got a title the, for Sal. Sal should be a dick cheese producer because oh, of all the schmega juice. Wow, and, you're funny. Oh, you're so, uh, funny. You're so what funny. a commodian. Just is just, you know, it just makes me laugh uncontrollably every time I hear. Uh, I, I drove off the road in my living room. It was great. Yes, 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 yes. You know, riffing is the best, as you know. Um, okay, so then there was a commercial for something called Gate One. And apparently this is a travel something. And somebody in the thread, somebody actually said that they used them. And they and said they were good. Yeah, I've never heard of them before. A scam uh thing so we're gonna go with it not being a scam thing but nonetheless this was the nonetheless. <laughs> nonetheless. this was actually a really really gross commercial that he did and uh mm-hmm. i only recorded it because it was that gross so yes here we go i mean you, you guys are gonna think it's disgusting too honestly well, I know it is. Gate one. Ah, gate one. Ah, gate yep. One. They're ah, good yes. guys. Gate one wants to take care of every detail, guys. which includes saving $350 per person off your next Canadian North or South American tour with code TRAVEL350. Yep. Offer expires March 22nd, and it's valid for select North and South America escorted tours of six days or longer. Hmm. Imagine DMI thong in South America. Laying on the beach. Mm. (laughs) Oh, Christ. This is horrible now. Oh, God. (laughs) Uh, Could you imagine you, you play that at the board meeting of this company? This is the advertising you're paying for on Sirius XM. Yes. Jesus. Yes. I God. hope you're all thrilled that we are still listening to this show so that you don't have to. Just so you know. Honestly. Christ. That, that that actually I had just I had finished breakfast not long before that. I was I, I just walked away. That was that was I mean, I mean this know. is bloody awful, man. It's, <laughs> it really is. I, I you know, it's always a temptation to start drinking at eight in the morning. <laughs> eight a.m. <laughs> eight a.m. Exactly. This is like if imagine Johnny Carson's reading a cereal box for opening. Uh, Actually, Johnny Carson re- reading the cereal box would, would be, be more entertaining. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's at that level. He man. would do that wacky voice he did. He's literally looking at at a call sheet and going, well, "We have this producer and we have another producer." Seventy. Where is seventy producers? He is seventy uh, people on this show. Seventy. His la- his laziness and what? First of all, where's can we talk to the segment producer that produced this segment? Mm. I mean, come on. It's just garbage. It's just garbage. Such garbage. Okay, here we go. Let's move on. So, JD, as you may or may not know, has a title. Um, oh, my God. This... Oh, look at this. Look at this little piece of news I just got on my <gasps> uh, email. <laughs> no, you don't. Gabby Sidibe and her husband are expecting twins. Oh Christ! <laughs> I, I, I I wasn't sick enough. Thanks. Uh, let me let me let me let me share this with everybody because she's showing know. yet. A brave man. <laughs> Will she ever show? Obviously, she is. Hang on, let me just share this with you real quick. Please hold. Wine. Um, thank you Jesus. for your service. There we go. There we go. Oh dear God. <sighs> Good Gabby. for her. Go for you. Go for you. Go for you. She did lose weight, actually. Well, I'm I pregnant. Guess. We thought it was time. <laughs> I'm pregnant. We didn't know. We thought it was time to give our cats some responsibility, so we're giving them each a baby to take care of. Double the babies, double the cats, double the fun. Twin delivery coming soon, 2024. Bro, bro, can we just have Puzzle give us a tour of the last crap she took in the litter box <laughs> at this point? <laughs> Honestly, uh, it wouldn't be any worse than the shit that we're talking about. 
Holy mother. Jesus. God, yes, that was precious and precious. Hey, guys. This is my litter box. <laughs> <laughs> So what happened to Jared and his shooting? Uh, how come we don't know anything about it now? Because he never replied. He okay. did not. Can we move forward? Can we move forward? Let's just move uh, forward. Uh, yes. Yeah, we wish you the best, bro. We really do. Let's move yes. forward. Yes, uh, we're you know, he, he's, he's, if he's in the hospital, I mean, the last thing they would probably want him to do is be calling into the show. Hey, but he's on his phone. I mean, he's got nothing else to do, <laughs> let's be honest. I mean... He, he, <laughs> maybe he just died I mean you know there is that there's always that point Coded. I mean you know there is that I <laughs> flatline <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder what type of medication they have him on because maybe you should just ship I, some. This is why I'm curious. I, I need to know all of it's these radio things. gunk at gmail.com. Dude, I told you radio gunk. See, yeah, he, he's, he's flying high. You know, that hurts getting shot. Jared, I am pretty sure you're flying high right now. Radio gunk, no dots, no periods, no dashes, no anything at well, gmail.com. Okay. Just Jared, don't. if it was a shot to the heart, then you're to blame. <laughs> <laughs> you give RVing a bad name. Oh, uh, this, is, this is such a bizarre show. <laughs> right now. All right, what are know, we doing? We're going to talk about JB's title because that's where oh, we're can going. Can we please? Can we? <laughs> Go. Every, I, by the way, I, you know, I got to look into the structure of how we run this structure, business. It seems like everybody's a producer. I'll bet you JD is an, a producer. JD, do you have a producer title? There's got to be someone here who isn't a producer. Who isn't a producer? Because there's got to be somebody that they're telling what to do, right? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I am a senior media producer. Senior. So. <laughs> 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 Senior really? media. Yeah. And who's yeah. under you? Like, do you have a, a department that works under you? He has no, no idea. I mean, way, we're, I work <laughs> under a department itself. Uh, there's an audio sort of department that deals with audio. Sort of so. department. <laughs> sort of department. <laughs> You're what? in the. What do you mean? You're in the audio department. The division oh, yeah. audio. Yeah, yeah, how many divisions? I want to know what's <laughs> going on on my own show because I don't know how many divisions do we have. Oh, I'm sure there's like a guest division. There's a, right. uh, you know, wow. uh, I'm sure research division. Research. Uh, yes, you know, yes, yes. There's, you know, all sorts of divisions. <laughs> Why am I working so hard if I have all these divisions? Oh, working dude. so hard. Yes, yes, yes. He's working hard. Absolutely. My dude, right. you are not working hard. This, yeah, this smells. This smells of that. Fid of that uh, redheaded fidget spinner. You know, you know how I mean, it really could... does because that's hey, this is hey, Howard. What? You know how you can figure this out? Show up to fucking work. Yeah, actually be in the building. You, you know, physically being in the same place as all these quote unquote producers would help solve a lot of questions in your head. Like like the uh, guest division. Boy, that's a really lonely the guest place. division. What an oh, idiotic thing to say. It gets so much better. I, I, I can't wait to let you listen to. So here's JD explaining the audio team. So he got this uh, increase in... Uh, uh title last year yes 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 yeah uh he started out a little bit lower and who's the guy who's in charge of everything who's the head writer will will will's the head writer will murray's the hell uh, will murray right. <laughs> guy's so unfunny he's the right. head writer on a comedy show exactly he's, yeah. he's the funniest fucking cancer will murray so jd explains the audio team to us and again jd is the most inarticulate stupid human being if there's oh, anybody we want to detest on this show it's jd and probably jason i, I mean, mean asking a four-year-old who has you know who, who has been a little behind in learning how to talk would be able to express himself better than jd absolutely absolutely <laughs> so let's listen to it explain the audio team to us here we go like <laughs> is there a junior is there such a thing as a junior media producer I don't know. We, we all we all sort of uh, work in tandem with each other. And uh, who's we? Yeah. You, what do you mean? All the, the senior the audio producers, team, the audio team, the audio team. And when you walk in on the audio team, are you the highest ranking executive? I'm there? not. I'm not. I answer to higher people than myself. Really? What are their titles, King? Yeah, I mean, in <laughs> I the know. audio, 
You mean in the audio department when you guys meet? I assume you sure. meet. Right. Yeah. How many dudes? Oh my like, god! Like, Not yet. Well, there's Not ladies yet. as well. Oh my god. Uh, uh, there's Understood. probably about. Uh, let's see. Well, see, <laughs> there's a. I, I I'll just go with our our own little sort of group. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 about six people. <laughs> six oh, people. Wow. So the six people don't give their names. I'm not interested in their names. names. Yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. Okay. More wow is breaking the fact news. That breaking. Breaking. Oh, we have radio gunk exclusive. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to um take away puzzle cam because oh, I. Oh, need- she's doing so much. Well, because Jared, Jared, who got shot through his trailer and <laughs> also hit his heart. It's RV. It's a recreational vehicle. It's I cannot house. believe that we have him on live now. Dude, and this is this is amazing. <laughs> Jared, I love you for doing this. Jared. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna um <laughs> thank you, Jared, for coming on. God, he even has the tube up the nose and everything. Holy crap. You did too. Hey, all, what's up, X? Yo. How you feeling, man? Are you how you feeling? I'm on the I'm on the lot I got the shot on the street. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm feeling pretty good. Um Mo, Mo, get your shit together. I yeah. can't. I can't. Man, man has been shot. Here. No, I first, know. First but all, Jared, do we know who shot you? How do I I'm hearing Jared. myself. This is insane. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's so it's silly. Okay. I, I love that you came on with us. But Jared, that do we thing. know who shot you? <laughs> Any idea who shot you? Up on that nose thing so that it's not just, it's not oh God, no. What happened? I'm kidding. So can we see your scar again? We Let's do not. Um, um, I was in my RV standing. Go, go, Jared. We're listening to you. You have the, we're you have listening. the floor. Get the floor. I don't know. No, it was a. It... Why? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is... Oh, my God. Oh, wow. my God. Wow. If it would have been a, a, a happening time. If it would have been a half inch higher, um, it would yeah. I'd be dead. Well, we're wow. glad it was a drive-by shooting. I'm in a. I swear to God, I, yeah, it's funny because they've never had a drive-by shooting in this town ever. Yeah, this it's. Com- I'm in a beautiful. I don't. You guys, how do I get off? Tra- I'm hearing it. So. What well, do you you know what it is because you're reverberating on your own voice, so you have to lower your um, mic or your monitor so that you're not reverbing back and forth on your <clears throat> on your feed. That's why you keep hearing yourself back and forth, and that's okay because you're in a hospital and yeah. it's okay. And you, so, you have a bullet hole in you. I mean, yeah, that's kind of yeah, yeah. All right, he put himself on mute, but that's too much. Hang on, let me unmute you. You have to unmute yourself, but um, I don't know what he really needs to do on the phone. Unfortunately, I'm Just not. Just really turn sure. the volume down on the phone. You know what? It does. Don't stress <laughs> the guy out. It's okay. Yeah. The fact that you did this already is amazing. So yeah. don't worry about it. If it doesn't work out, feel free to you know do what you need to do. We know that you were seriously probably high as a kite. Um. I, I, I can't unmute you because you muted yourself, Jared. So I don't I have the. I'm good now. We got it now. We got it now. Cool. Awesome. All right. Tell yeah, us the yeah, story. Yeah, okay. We want to hear it all. Okay. So I'm. There's a road. People don't like homeless people. There's all these news stories. They're, you know, you know how it is these days. 
So, uh, and I'm not a morning person. I, I'm grumpy, and so worlds collide. I'm sending all the um this um. As all right. So I I couldn't go anywhere. I would have left, but so mm -hmm. um I'm sitting in my RV, and I didn't hear him pull up. All of a sudden, I just hear boom. You hear the sound of the gun. You hear the sound of it coming to the window, and you hear um, and you hit the paint all in one second. I never, you know what I mean? It's not like, and so they dug me open, and um, I was opened up. Yeah, I got a whole scar. I was opened up for like six hours. He had to repair my, um, put my colon back together, and um, yeah. It was, yeah, so um, I I I want. They had to drive down the road. I said I'm gonna go run out. I opened the door, and I went step two feet. I said no, I gotta call nine one one because I get. Uh, my doctor said if it would have been a half quarter inch higher, my heart would have exploded. I'd be I'd be gone. Jared, so sorry. you can hear me, right? What did it yes, feel yes. like? What are you wait? What are you popping it right now? Like, no, no, I I can only drink ice. I can't drink. I haven't had food. Uh -huh. What did, mouth feel, is dry, uh? what, what did it feel like? When you saw it, it was like, it, it, I don't even, I didn't feel, bull, I mean, I did, wait a second. It, it was like nothing you ever felt before. It just, it just whams you and my whole body went sideways. And then, um, um, I, like I said, I opened the door and I'm going to run down there and try, try and see them with my flashlight because it just, it just got dark. And, um, but I said, no, I got to call 911. And of course, just like, just like, we didn't, just like the experience we just had, I couldn't, I'm like, how do I get my keypad? You know, like, and, um, so, I mean, it was, so then I realized I got to sit down on the floor, you know, and then the cops showed up. I'm on 911. There a lot of blood? You, there was no blood. I don't even know that I'm even a living human. There was no blood came out of the wound. Oh, wow. I, yeah, but, and I've never had my clothes. They got me. There, no blood came out of the wound. No, but I think I'm one of the. When they brought you into the hospital, or did it come out and exit? No, there was no exit wound. So it was inside. <gasps> yeah, there's no exit wound. It went in my left side. They shot through my window. I had blinds down and everything, and um, I had three detectives here today. I had the main guy from the hospital because they don't have. We're in a beautiful rural. Uh, uh, we're in the Oregon dunes. There's no nothing like this going on, you know. But I brought I brought Portland. Here. So, but the good news is, I'm yeah. getting an apartment with my mom. Don't judge. Go ahead. Okay. No, I'm getting an apartment with my mom by by June, and so I'm going to be. I've been. This is the start of my seventh year homeless. Now, technically, I have an RV, so I'm you know, and I, it was a nice one. But um, go ahead. No, we're just listening to I you, watch sweetheart. videos about ancient Egypt every night, Monique. That's why I loved your when, you, when. Excuse me, when you went there, I, I was totally. Excuse me, let me breathe. I was. Take it. I'm. I'm on. Yeah. Go ahead. You're, you're talking too much and you're breathing too much, and it's it's probably causing you to be a little bit lightheaded. I'm sure of that. Right. So, so I'm gonna all cover my nose. Again. No, 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 no,
but he said he patched it up for me because then I would be on the oh, colostomy. Wow. I gotta tell you, if I'm on a colostomy, oh, I'm going to the rib. and I just because I want I want to be the stinky guy in town. I mean, no, 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 no. So um, yeah, wow. and um, so listening thread is like, stay strong, Jared. Jared, you're the boss. Thank you so much. Everybody's rooting for you, bro. Thank we you so much. Yeah, I've been in the, yeah, I've been yeah, in the yeah, Dabbler community. Up, yeah. I've been in the Dabbler community since the start. You all know. And, you know, um, hey, yeah, I know it's funny. It is funny. That's the whole point. Like, some of the, when I'm on the chat room, well, that person, I say, we're all trolls. This is based on trolling. Yeah, what are you talking about? The angel <laughs> trolls. We're all trolls. What are you talking about? So yeah, man, I get, John, I like okay. Head. Hey Jared, <laughs> serious like... question: When the nurse comes in, did, did she give you a grazer? <laughs> no, no, Damn. a oh, grazer. No. Now, <laughs> damn, mommy. You know what a that, grazer is, Jared? Okay, that... Jared, huh? Jared is, grazers when you know, like they're doing something to you and. Then, they just, like to have their boobies out. Graze it. Yeah, grazes your. your I know what it, I know what a gl- I know what a glizzy is. It's a hot dog. Oh, well, <laughs> a lot different than that. <laughs> but you know what, dude? You seem pretty tight, man. You seem like uh, yeah, you're in a good headspace. Okay. I think you're yeah. gonna be okay. So I'm yeah. I'm thrilled I'm, that this is not a worse <laughs> scenario than it. Yeah, because they so I'm gonna turn really bad. Look at the whoops, whoops, I got my going. Um Whoopsie. look okay. where it's at. Look, I mean, you see it there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. That's I mean my heart. If it would have been well, that's my nipple right here. Where is the hell? I can't. There it is. Right, well, no, no, I can't look at it. Well, the so that would direct me. Yeah. That went right under my heart. It could have hit my spine. I'd be in a wheelchair like Drake and shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I guess uh, the best scenario for a shitty situation, right? Yeah. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, I got the best. So the bullets, the bullets still in there, and I had a CT scan, but I never did hear, hear about it tomorrow because they want to know where the bullets at. And the cops came, you know, the ambulance drivers cut my clothes off. There were three detectives here. Because, I, I mean, what do they have to do? I don't mean to be rude, but, you know, it's a small town. Well, it's, yeah, they exactly. were county detectives. Bro, bro, but, um, sorry. They they quick took advice. my clothes that got cut off. But quick advice: um, before it's all said and done, have the doctors write you a little, little medical note. It's like for people who have like replacement hips. So when, if you ever go through like an airport security, you know that that slug is going to oh. set up the detector. But you know they'll give oh. it, you put it on a in a keychain. It has all the information saying that you know, it's not. Yeah, well, I'll leave my Mohammed autopsy. I'll leave my Mohammed you know I mean? autopsy for that. If you ever have to go through a metal detector, you can just say, listen, this is my... Yeah. Oh, look at so you. I don't know if they're going to find me over, but they put this big scar. I mean, yeah, what is can you that? imagine? Oh. That's the scar. They, they opened my whole chest up. They had to go through my whole chest and find... They inspected everything. I was open for six hours. In an they, emergency. They, 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 That's what they're going to do. Wow, he's also lucky they all because like, it hits your stomach, you're really screwed. I mean, yeah. you're super screwed. I mean, in the stomach. So lucky, like, Jared. I, how are you with medical insurance wise? Everything cool? I got, I got, yeah, I'm good. Oh, okay, because if yeah, not, you can, we can give good. you a name that starts with Fillmore that, that <laughs> you can use for the medical bills. Oh, so yeah, you got, it, you got it social and everything. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm good with that. We can do that. What happened to that guy? He just who the fuck cares? What do you guys think of the Gen 3? Jared, I know you've been a long time to us. Can you um can I send you a Radio Gung t shirt as I as I get welcomed? Absolutely. I'll send you an address. I'll I'll send you a shipping place near me. And I will send you I will send you a t shirt post haste, my love. Post haste. Yeah. Because I'll send a shitty one. Send a good one. Yeah, send him a really nice yeah. one. Send him a good DJ's one. DJ's classics. DJ's. <laughs> I'm in between a medium and a large. Probably a large would be good. That's we'll all right. Thank, Thank you. Take it off air and just send me an email with an address to send it to, and I promise you that I will I will get you one out. 
tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Love you, Jared, thank you for coming on and, and sharing that whole hey, love you guys. Um I th- love you guys. Y'all y'all take care. Yeah, okay. You, you too, okay. man. Be well. Wow. Yeah. On that note. <laughs> how can we go back to Stern after that? Oh Honestly. my god. Like, well, well, John Doe, yes, Jared is high. Wouldn't you want to be high if you had a freaking bullet wobbling it around your body? Jared looks like hey. he won, he's won a couple of axe throwing contests. Yes. Well, Holy he lives in Oregon. He's a man. So that's, it's fitting. He's it's a Oregon. man. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. So that was amazing. I'm glad he was, was. able to get on there with us. Um, <laughs> puzzle was like impressed. I mean, I know, I know I chuckled a little bit because chuckled. You, know you were flying. Was... So okay, here's the problem. When I get nervous, I laugh. And so it was it was a reflective mechanism of how I was feeling. And I'm sorry, Jared, if I if I snickered a little no, bit. I, I, I think he's he think he's cool. I, know I know. I, you so, know, we, we we love you. So so G Canada does make a good point. 30 people just ran out to try to get shot. We, so Monique can would we send get, them something. Um... <laughs> oh, I chuckled. Mo, Mo, I chuckled because of that. Wait, a I'm DJ a Classic fine. Garage 8x10 poster signed? Yeah. Signed. Ooh. <laughs> Signed. Ooh, Jared. Maybe what I'll do is I'll get the T-shirt here for. No, it's just a, such a waste of shipping. I was hey, going to say I'll hey, get Mo. it here oh, first. Yeah. Mo. And, mm. Mo. can mm. we get Bon Jovi to do a little, a little tune that goes, "Let's go to the gunshot wound." <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the attempted oh. murder. I might have to pee. I'm like, seriously, I just, I left so hard and it's not because it was funny. No, it was just, but it was, it was legit. I mean, this whole thing was legit. Yeah, so legit. yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, my cackle is horrible and I know that, but I'm glad you're alive. That's all I have to say. That's Don't worry. No, we, we, we figured it out. I am thrilled to send you a t-shirt and, and, um, and yeah. So I know you're fucked up right now. I am thrilled that you survived this and it's really fucked dude, up. I am so happy that dude is alive. That's <laughs> some shit right there. I mean, that's, that's all, right, coach. An understatement, right? <laughs> coach that's said, right, coach. Said, Mo, when you ask Jared to remove his eyes. <laughs> oh, we're already going to hell. So oh, it's straight to hell. But you know what? I just honestly, I didn't. Thank you, Jared. That would remove it i just thought it would make him chuckle that's all i was just trying to make him laugh jared that's is no right. homo jared's so no homo No homo. he's like, a man jared jared's jared's the man him we should have beanie mac and him on one time and we could talk about <laughs> gunshot wounds it would be kind of let's amazing. all go to the felony <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, so let's continue our show. It's crazy. I gotta leave this town. Yes, you are, and you're gonna move it with mommy, and it's gonna be all good because yes, yes. Did, usually that's a sign if you're in your town and you get shot. That's usually a sign to leave. It's the only shooting that has happened in his town yeah, and then forever. That's a sign from God when, that you must yeah. leave. Yes, it's time to go. Are. That that is that is like final destination kind of shit right there. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's move on. So let's look at the divisions of uh the divisions. I don't even know where we are right now, but we have uh six clips to go. So let's let's go to divisions. Uh, yes, yes, Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me never to get injured in her presence. I can't even tell Can you, you how many times I no, I can't. I have left at something horrible. Can you imagine and being at the bank when it's being robbed with Mo? And then Mo's oh, just laughing at the guy with the shotgun. <laughs> he has, he has You're the first guy that gets taken he out. He yelled at me. He, 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 he. <laughs> I visit Mo. I break a hip and there's this cackling. <laughs> Like, really? Thanks. Oh my god. You know what? I would cry because there's this fucker. Okay. He invites me to go to lunch and we go to this place that I swear to God, the only cars that could fit in there are like lawnmowers. And I pull in 
then there's no fucking parking. There's no parking. There's like six spots. This fucker pulls in with his little BMW that I swear to you is the size of a John Deere tractor. And he just is a sunroof down because, you know, he's old Mopar sunroof. And he's just like <laughs> right into the, at the handicap parking. The handicap parking. He pulls into the motherfucking handicap parking. Can't laugh, motherfucker. And I'm looking at him. It took me 17 maneuvers to pull into a spot. And there's this fucker. <laughs> Parked, puts his little hand I don't make you motherfucker skill 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 twat you're such a twat all right JD explains the audio team divisions here we go Howard even funny. within the writers team it's funny there's like a there's a prank call division prank call there's division a whack pack department whack pack division. there's a song parody song division, parody division. <laughs> yeah. I love it I mean uh, wow Wow. I feel like this is just his way of getting back at Andy Cohen somehow. I don't know why. Maybe Andy was this, able to hire some more people. This has fidget spinner all over it. Don't I mean, forget, she doesn't work for Sirius. Yes, but she sets up the divisions for his company. It's I think well, she sets I these think, things up. Remember, she has charts and she does all forget, the corporate speak. Don't forget that this is the leap year. And as Xavier reminded me, um, four years ago is when COVID started. So weird fucking shit happens on leap years. And I it think does. that I don't like leap years. I, I know me neither. And I think that, um, I think that they started giving people, uh, uh, titles and shit like that, <clears throat> especially when people are moving out of the city mm -hmm. and maybe there was opportunities to do something else and stuff like that, that, um, that they just, gave them this in order to placate them so that they wouldn't leave. That's all. I, that's all I got. That's all I got. All right, let's move on. Andy Cohen's picture. So there was this whole weird Mehmet versus that other asshole. What's his name? Oh, Wolfie. The, he is oh. Will Murray's uh, brother-in-law. So, so basically it was uh, Mehmet versus Wolfie. Wolfie has become like a integral part of the Howard Stern show. And Mehmet's none too happy about that. This went on for like what? I know. I, I actually have to pee right now. I have to tell you. <laughs> Frank I, the Tank. Really, nothing would make we'll me happy. Pee. Should I? We'll Go ahead. We Unlike we'll unlike Howard's show, we can continue the, without you. It's like a four-hour show. I'm not even listening. I got to go. Good. It's, so there we go. Frank the Tank, the original 1937 recording of the Hindenburg disaster had to be cut short because Mo was heard laughing in the background. Yes. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys know that that audio was recorded like a couple of days later? I oh, yeah, assume yeah, it was a live over recording, but it, it wasn't. The, uh, it was the radio broadcast. It had nothing to do with yeah, the, yeah, it was, with the video. Yeah, I, I thought it was like you know, a dude was like calling the ponies or something, but I guess not. <laughs> and Manowar, Manowar, oh, Hindenburg coming on from behind by two legs. Oh, the humanity! The humanity. Yeah, yeah, that's what they say. Yes. So no, um, yeah, Frank, it was something like that. I know it wasn't recorded on the spot. Yeah, yeah, because remember, they were doing, he was doing a radio broadcast. That's why he was describing everything. And the video was for uh, putting the movie theaters because they always did news shorts. They did. So they put the two together. They they called them the Tuckies. The Tuckies. The Tuckies. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> news flash Hindenburg explodes. Uh, uh, <laughs> I forgot the reference I was going to make. I, I, yeah, yeah, I, I, <laughs> sorry. I lost my sorry. train of thought. My 1930s, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> why is she taking so long to pee? <laughs> why, why? Uh, so, oh, you know, yeah, the... I was gonna say Lindenburg, baby born. <laughs> Lindenburg, baby born. No, but you know, it's so funny with all these second producers and how Marcy has tried to make this seem like it's a real broadcast. And remember, it's, this all goes ridiculous. back to the summit. Think about this. This all goes back to 2013, where they basically had different divisions to do stuff to write on Twitter and then try to, you know, and then the break, the pin, make the breakfast, the weights, and then all the different parts of that presentation 
This is the fruit of all that work is having the, the subdivisions inside a show that does nothing. Just, just let that settle in. Because tomorrow yes, should be yes, tomorrow's yes, gonna yes. be worse. He didn't even taunt us with cleaning out the computers tomorrow. And odds are he's not gonna be in next week, right? Oh, he's absolutely not gonna be next week. So clean out the, he's dumping his garbage before he leaves, which is typical. But maybe he'll have a victory lap today for what he did today, which is the producer oh, segment. <laughs> Wait, let's just see how long it takes to get all these things in their ears. Well, welcome back, Miss Pee Pee Pants. <laughs> what? I say, welcome need, back, you know Miss Pee Pee Pants. Oh, I had to pee so badly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, you, you you need to have a piss jug. <laughs> Even women can use a, a, a piss jug. <laughs> I should have a piss jug. You need, oh. Yeah, uh, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with using a piss jug. There's no <laughs> bathroom. It, 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 there's no bathroom on the first floor of this. Then, then you know, when I did my show, I was down on the first floor. But you know, I had, I didn't want to walk up the stairs. I have a gimp leg. So I I had my piss jug. You just you just go you know, for women, they have, they have a funnel that you can use on top of the piss jug. That's an extra ten dollars. No, I don't use baby wipes, they're bad for the environment. So uh, what? But I did snag some That's uh, the environment's problem. I did snag some ice cream. She, All right, we only have one, two. She uses ice cream. <laughs> we only have four clips to go. And I stole some. I stole some ice cream from my shirt. Okay, here we go. Uh, here's so. Here's the Met giving shit to Howard about Andy Cohen's picture. Here we go. Yes, I think you do a terrific job. I like your delivery. I like what you I, do. I think it's because we do the similar things. It's like when you don't like. You know, Andy Cohen's picture being up behind Jennifer Witts. It's the the same mindset. I think it's normal to have I, that feeling. But Matt, how long have you been working on this show? Uh, 10 years. Huh. You think <laughs> I really give a shit if Jennifer Witts has Andy Cohen's picture? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm here entertaining people. Uh, yes, you do. I do. <laughs> yes, you do, Pelican. It really bothers you. It makes you very angry. Yes, you do. Okay, so... To answer all the pertinent questions in the chat right now, I have to go up two flights to go pee. <laughs> I did use the Toto toilet. I did not spray wash. <clears throat> and as I was running back downstairs, I grabbed some um, chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. Oh, look, it's a new container now. Oh, it's, it's brand spanking new. Wow, look at that. Yeah, because you know Bogo at Publix. So ah, see, I got pistachio, <laughs> pistachio ice cream at Aldi. Here's the trick. The trick oh, is gelato. I use oh, a gold spoon. Oh, like the guy that from Eddie's, Eddie's. Yeah, that it's tiny though. Look, look, it's only it's it's yeah, really that. My... So hey, that she has a gold spoon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't eat as much when I have my little gold spoon. So there's that. <laughs> Stella Rocker, 1972 Olympic Massacre. Jim McKay says they're all gone. Mo can't stop laughing. <laughs> wow, it's true. It's That's true. Right there. It's true. It's true. I'm a horrible, horrible human being. I'm just, just gonna, just, just, just go in there. Oh my God, Sin Lu, yes, yeah. But here's the trick. Seriously, I will have like maybe four. Baby size teaspoon fills of this, and that's right. I'll put it in the fridge for tomorrow. This is one for the ages. <laughs> Anyway, like and subscribe, guys. Uh, <laughs> jump. We like to encourage everybody to learn trigger discipline before uh, we head out into the woods. Oh my god, I'm crying. Oh, uh, should be. Uh, uh, <laughs> 
Do, so do we really have to do the last clip at this point? Yes, we do. It's very, very important. Oh my God, we are continuing on. We are continuing. And, and look at that. Oh. It's so scary. My watch was doing an emergency call. Uh, because you're laughing <laughs> I heard so Monique well. laughing and it realized it might be an emergency. <laughs> I'm going to turn this off. <laughs> Doing SOS, I heard I heard cackling, and it's like, oh no, you must be in trouble. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh you guys are killing me tonight. This show's never gonna end, just you guys know. We lost contact with the space shuttle. <laughs> At 5.06 p.m. today, John, oh. President Kennedy was announced dead. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, this is so funny. <clears throat> <sighs> all right, all right, here we go. So, um, I, I don't know who came on. To make believe that he what I, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. It's a Craig so, Gas. Hey Mo. Craig, yes, thank you. Craig Gas comes on <clears throat> as uh, who's the one that was Mehmet was embedded with? <gasps> Help me, please. Uh, yeah. Tom. Tom. Tom guy. Arnold. Tom Arnold guy. So this weird thing happens where. Craig Gass as Tom Arnold leaves the show and then this really fucked up clip happens while Mehmet is talking. Yes. It was a little oopsie moment. I swear there's only four clips left. We are almost four. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is that? <laughs> right. By the way, right. after this, I'm, I'm planning on interviewing Mehmet about Wolfie's interview to me about Mehmet's <laughs> interview of me. So, uh, we're going to keep going down All this right. rabbit hole. Keep going. All right, there you go. Tom oh. told me that that Mehmet uh, doesn't think that the old people on the show listen to his youthful. Mehmet's receding hairline and dyed hair. What was huh? that? What was I that? Oopsie. <laughs> keep keep working know. on that bit. It's not quite there yet. <laughs> okay, um, Fred. Wait, wait say no, that again, Wolfie. I'm sorry. There was some weird random noise going on. But what? So what did Mehmet you say? Was random noise. Random noise. It just wasn't time. Punch his pilot, nail up that dude. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, about you know Jesus up on the cross, and um, you know, and he's sitting there, and he's, he's up on the cross, and he's like, Joseph, no, 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 John, John, come here. He's like, what, Jesus? What, what words? What words of wisdom do you have to say to me? He's like, John, please, just, just come up here. Just come come up here. It's like, oh, my God, everybody. Jesus has words of wisdom. He wants us to hear something. You know, he gets a ladder. They build him a ladder. He climbs up to the cross. He's like, yes, Jesus, what is it? What is it that you have to say to me? He's like, John, John, come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Yes, Jesus, what do you have to say? He's like, <laughs> okay. Yes, I can see your house from here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. I I have no idea what happened. Is there anything you won't laugh at at this point? No, no, obviously not. In the um. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, after this is all done, uh, 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 we go to Blit with JD at a restaurant and the amount of money that they spent. And this is a minute long clip. Uh, we're going to play it and we'll cut it in between. But you just you just need to hear the ridiculousness that is Jonathan Blit with JD. I spent all morning trying to figure out how Blit has so much money. It's unbelievable. Like what do you that. mean? I mean? How do you know he has money? Because he, right, he once again, I'll tell you how I know. Once okay. again, 
he you took should out hear JD. the champagne. The champagne he drinks is nuts. It's like I wish I could afford that stuff. How much is you it, can? Richard? Uh, it, he likes stuff that's around the hundred, hundred and fifty dollar range. I think. Uh, you know, as does Richard. Richard buys his wife beautiful bottles of Renart champagne on a birthday. But you, yeah. you drink this stuff randomly on a Saturday. Yeah, that's sure. Well, <laughs> life is too short. J JD and uh, John Blit went to one another one of these fancy dinners where Blit, <laughs> you know, takes him out and like it, it, it. First of all, it's an obscene amount of food and drink, and you know. Uh, how did this one come about, JD? Just fill me in a little bit. Blit sometimes is like, "Hey, I want to talk. I want to take you to this place." Blit does everything for the show, right? <clears throat> no. <Blit> is... <clears throat> Go ahead, babe. Well, my my question is, what what year was this recorded? I mean, that because it, this could have happened. It doesn't matter. It doesn't August matter. of last year, July. None of it matters. We don't know. None of it matters, but I know it's just, it's just when I went to uh, YouTube and I typed in Jonathan Blit Howard Stern. Here's what we got: JD and John Blit go speedo shopping. JD and John Blit go canoeing. Jonathan Blit films a cooking show for Chef JD. Here's everything that happened during JD Harmar's weekend at the Super Bowl. J.D. on Blit visit, visit a Russian bathhouse. <clears throat> Blit proposes to J.D. on their flight back from L.A. Um, J.D., Jason, JD Jason, Will, and Blit visit Ronnie in Vegas. Here's Blit before he was on this fucking show, though, by the way. Just so you can I see. I like the name of the video. It's very catchy. Yeah. Wow. Oh. This is what we were doing pre-Howard. These Turn the people audio down. It sucks. In the camera show. So with the help of my friends, we put them on one. You're on Frankenstein. But what these aspiring pranksters don't know is I'm the one pranking them. Wow, what a great name. Meet Santa. He's a business Oh, man. no, 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 no. no. New no, New York, not I watched this. half of that movie. But look at Jonathan Blood. <clears throat> look at this. Look at the Simeon. He looks like he's like, you know, like the really slimy used car salesman. Oh, my God. That sells cars with repaired frames to old ladies. This is the face of a man who has more hair down on his penis than he has penis. He probably has a bush. A oh, he has more hair on his below his neckline he than he does anywhere else. Oh, my God. Right below this neckline? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's like Coco the gorilla down there. <laughs> he, he looks like if uh, the dad in the Brady Bunch banged Alice and had a kid. <laughs> Matt Kine, he looks like Ben Stiller was in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yes. He does. All about the tendrils. Jamie <laughs> Gillis. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, hold on. You are brilliant. I love Jamie it. Gillis. What a oh my god, it's dead on. Wow. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Wow. 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 Yes. Holy crap. Brilliant. Yes. That is uh yeah. Oh, here's here's better. There you go. It's Jonathan Blitz. There you go. Now, rumor has it that Jonathan Blitz's father is a porn guy out of Canada. <clears throat> it is yet sure. to be substantiated. Um, so we don't know that that's actually true. But it sounds, he seems it's to, to sound very legit. He seems to spend an inordinate amount of money on making uh, JD into something i i'm not necessarily into sure what, what though <clears throat> i don't know jd can barely breathe while hiking in la um jd yeah. needs help ordering in restaurants jd fell asleep at natalie main's party jd cries over how much he misses john hine i mean it's just a constant jd eats his way around la including dinner at natalie main's house jd shares details from his 10-day <laughs> <laughs> So JD goes on a 10 day, what is a honeymoon first anniversary kind of trip? 
And I could tell he was miserable. Fuck you, JD. <laughs> oh, dude. His okay. wife is out there jet skiing while JD stays in the hotel. What? Yeah. yeah I, that's fine with me. Uh, I would I wouldn't be able You're in a hotel at, at the airport. At the airport in New York. Yeah, it's, it was like a new fancy hotel or whatever. Under the pool. Yeah. And three feet of water and hedonism. <laughs> Gotta be hot. Yeah, see. Look at him. You no. pose. Oh, that's out. hysterical. Could you wear more? Out. And what's your wife wearing? A bathing suit, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you wearing flip flops or do you? They were never meant to be. Sorry. They were never meant to be. Him. No. no. Yeah, she, she thought she was climbing a ladder <laughs> when she was actually going down a set of stairs. Yeah. Let me continue. I don't want to tell you anything about it. I just want to go. And uh, so that's, that's, well, we, sh we show up to this restaurant. There's like well, no menu. Or... Two guys. <laughs> Two guys, one thousand one hundred fifty dollar dinner bill. Eleven hundred. <clears throat> this is five hundred. It's only five hundred fifty dollars a person, though. Oh, only. I'm sorry, Dennis. When's the last time you spent five hundred fifty dollars per person? Oh, never. I, I'm not that ridiculous, but Ever. my God. Um, so here's the restaurant they went to, so that we can all like share in the. Beauty that is 63 Clinton, an inspired oh, new restaurant vicious. from Sam. Uh, okay, so nobody should be, nobody's last name should be Clontz. Clontz. And Clontz. Clontz. And Trin. And Trin. 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 Clontz and Trin. Clontz and Trin. It's Clontz like, Trin. it's like. <laughs> yeah. So here's the seasonal menu. Seven courses is $112. Um, let's listen to Howard tell us about what they ate. So this is the winter menu, which is updated on 227. Oh, interesting. So it's just updated today. So the menu that they ate was the day before. Now, the funniest thing about the what they ate menu is that Howard is reading. And yes. 69 IQ cannot pronounce anything that he's reading. And so it's quite delicious to listen to him. Talk about what they ate. Here we go. This is their dinner. A breakfast taco. Hamachi crudo. Caviar hand roll. Murray cod. Peaky toe crab. And I don't even know how to say this. Hokkaido uni. Hokkaido uni. uni. It's uni, a uni, uni from Japan. A sea urchin. Uni. Broccolini. <laughs> Berkshire pork short rib. Baked Alaska. Caviar pizza, a bottle of Vilmart and Co. Champagne. 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 Come on. Oh, Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's very fancy. A bottle of 2018 Maurice Saint Denis Pen Pinot Noir. And a he doesn't even know how to say Pinot Noir. A no. bottle of Pierre Palliard Boozy Grand Cru Rose Champagne. Your I mean, French is impeccable. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I, and by the way, I've had no training. I self yeah, we know that, you idiot. So, yeah, basically, they had whatever the menu was for the, I guess, the fall menu. Seven courses is $112. If you add the caviar hand roll, it's an additional $55. So, five, six, five, six, seven. So, it's $167 per person. And okay, then okay. each of the bottles of wine they had was about $250 each. Why? Why, John well, Blake? All right, well, let's, let's make this, let's blow people's minds that didn't listen to the show. Before they went to this restaurant at Blitz Place, they <laughs> drank uh, um, mar marijuana Ritas, which is basically margaritas with THC liquid added to it. So right. basically they were high as kites and spending $1,100 on dinner. Right. Good. They're idiots. Yes, they are idiots. In fact, at one point, JD could not even say what he was eating. No, he had he no. Could not, he could not even. I mean, you think he's bad straight? Hi, this is he is he is the slowest person in the world. Hi. So, Gary the retard laughs at him. The interesting thing is, is that Blit is completely playing JD. Like he knows that JD is probably the stupidest human being on the entirety of the Stern Show. Oh, absolutely. The fact that he would spend eleven $1 hundred dollars to record maybe 10 minutes worth of clip for Howard to play is insanity to me. You don't think the serious reimbursed for this? No. You don't think this is a production expense? I mean, seriously, I mean, 
Technically, it, it is. Eleven hundred dollars is it's, well it's, it's, an, it's well, an expense I, for product I, for the show. Well, mm. You don't need three bottles of two hundred fifty dollars per you bottle. No, no, no. The way That's it usually works. Already. Mo, Mo, Mo. The way it usually works is when you first start to order, you tell the waitress you want the alcohol in a different bill. Exactly. And so that way you can submit or whatever you can you know when you do your taxes the meal can, the meal itself can be technically deducted as long as alcohol is not on the bill yeah so i have a feeling that a lot of that stuff was was part of the production cost of making this show today you know all about the tendrils don't even go there don't even go to the club 33 show that xavier and i did because i probably laughed just as hard at that as I Why did. was there a shooting we, there? We, we mentioned it a few times. I even did um, 25 minutes on my own when we talked about it. On my own. On my own. own. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Well, I'm gl- but I'm glad you've been there, bro. It's pretty It's pretty sweet, isn't it? <sighs> Whatever. Not like Mo will ever know. No. I'll never know. You're right. Never, ever know. And I'll never care. I would never eat fine. Well, well, yeah, All right. Well, you and to a place that you know where you, they use utensils, <laughs> <laughs> Miss Goldspoon. You're right. You sorry, I don't know. I, I don't know from eating at Disney. I don't think that that's yes, a thing. yes, 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 yes. I mean, yeah, if you don't live somewhere where you can have fine dining, sure, yeah, but I, we don't have fine dining, we have garbage around here. Mm. San Diego, we, we do have fish tacos, which is quite well, uh, fish tacos are quite a delectable treat. They are amazing. I know. I keep staring at my ice cream that I need to put away. Okay, so here, Sin Lu, this is the way it works. Okay, so here, I had ice cream. This is how much I ate. So, yeah. So, that's that's basically all you can eat during a night. Now, I know most of you would probably finish the whole pint. No. Pint, pint in one sitting. Or half the pint in one sitting, but you don't. You don't do that. Small spoon, eat just a little bit, and be done. That's how you yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and Pilates. That's how you maintain. All right, here's the end of the show. So let's get to this. I cannot believe that we have gone as long as we have with a non-show show tonight. Almost thank as long you, as a real Jared. Show. Oh my God, thank you, Jared. All right, here thank we go. Thank you, Jared. Here you go. Not just feed my friend. And a show. No, fudge a gulp. So tiny spoon, tiny glass, tiny plate. That's that's the way it works. A and tiny the spoon, spoon has to be made of gold. No, it Absolutely. doesn't, douchebag. This is just it happens to be a teaspoon. But it's yeah. tiny. Uh-huh. It's tiny. It's literally tiny. So is you, that a soup spoon? Or a no, it's spoon? A, what's what's a the little, difference? What's the difference? It, it looks like it's a sugar imitators. spoon, actually. It's a teaspoon. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I use I eat with my hands. Yeah, exactly. You're an animal. To I tease am. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you should. I am what they call low class. Yeah, it's a coke spoon. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> more than to God's oh, ears that, can, that I can scoop into that. God damn it! Club Thirty Three is radio going slowly. <laughs> 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 Who yeah. would have ever drunk it? Oh my god, that was the biggest fight I think you and I ever had on air. <clears throat> oh no, 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 we've had worse on air. On oh, air, on air, yeah, 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 yeah. Club 33 thing. Mo took <clears throat> that cl- spoon from the JD collection. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. This is a genuine 14. It was part of a fire step sale. Fight step. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last, last clip of the night. Here we go. Just go. <laughs> I said that was a great example of Wolfie and Mamet working together to create okay. something. All right, go, go back. What are you again? A what? A writer, producer? Right, I'm on. a shithead. Sorry. Write something for you. Head shithead. All right. I, I just promoted you to head shithead. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to get business cards made. <laughs> Top shit. Oh, guys, top thank shit you. Head. We'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. That's it. That's all you got. We'll see you tomorrow. (laughs) Wow. Gee, thanks. Sin Lu, never use a big spoon for anything. Seriously. You know what? Tomorrow, when I come downstairs, I am going to show you. I know it's stupid, 
that I am going to show you exactly what I use to eat and drink and fork and everything. I'm going to do that and tomorrow. they're all gold-plated. Yeah, they're all gold-plated. All my dishes are like half size of a regular dish. And I, all my spoons are like tiny yeah, actually, and all my glass. Half size of a regular house. That, that spoon looks yeah, like that one. Of, Jose Village has. It was kind of weird. Yes, yes, yes. That, 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 that spoon looks like something that. Uh, bend over to go into oh the bathroom. <laughs> he goes into the pool. It's just like a little. He just goes like this. He just goes like this. And he touches his toes on the bottom and he comes back out. I love that Mo gives me shit for talking over her, and yet I can never get a word in. No. And never. All right, go ahead. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. You have the floor. You no, have to I'm, I'm I'm not, no, the moment has go. come and gone. Nope. Go. Nope. Go. Nope. We're waiting. Yes, no. We're waiting. No, no, done. It was a heat of the moment. Like a puzzle's paw. Yeah, poke puzzle. Puzzle poke. Puzzle poke. Puzzle poke. Puzzle poke. Puzzle poke. He's like, hey, hey, hey. Yes, John Doe, I dominated the fucking night. It's just one of those nights. I'm sorry. 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 With her with her her gold gold (laughs) utensils. Oh, my God. I literally (laughs) bought this on Amazon, you idiots. G G Canada. G Canada. Uh, I think your uh, your Obama phone just texted the wrong thing right there, bro. Um, uh, Jared, listen. We are... Oh, security... Wanted my Facebook post deleted. Ooh, interesting. Ooh. Do you think, Jared, do you think that they were targeting you? That's kind of interesting. I was like, no. That's, That's why you need to dodge. Yeah. Mo, you should have a mini fridge and a piss jug in your basement. Exactly. I have a, I have a large size fridge right here. But you're, you, you, freezer. Is it a finished basement? No, it's no. not. There. Look at me. I mean, I, listen, my walls are... <clears throat> my walls are blue it's like a it's like a and there's um, nothing you can do no there's nothing you can do it's like a um see see there's my fridge this is it's like a uh it's like a hostage video like kind of is kind of is kind of is yeah. kinda, it's not a basement it's, it's Florida. a lower level. Yeah, it's, it's the back of the garage. <laughs> it's a lower level. It's the it's the back of the garage. That's really yeah. where. I am. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. All right. Well, three detectives were here. Uh, Jared, That's we, the whole force. The whole force was there. <laughs> you are going to update us tomorrow on what happens, Jared, yes, because yes, we yes. are still interested in. Knowing, yeah, I like the blue walls too, Ida. And to be quite honest with you, the weird thing about it is. If I if I move over here, if I like make it like real blue walls, I can actually do a virtual background. Yes, you can. Hmm. Let's see if this works. See, I can do um, like stuttering John. Yeah, I can be like stuttering John. I can do a background because my walls are blue, so I can do. Yeah, I can do doggies. Jellyfish, picture of the moon. I could do that. I mean, if you want, I can do like something like that. If that or you could have it. DJ's classic garage. Oh my god, I could have DJ's classic garage. I, I kind of like my moonshot. I like that moon. Yeah, it's quite moony. Cutting into my neck, but okay. Ah, <laughs> it's bizarre. Let me move my screen. Let me move this over here. All right, this has been an incredibly weird show, and. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I got blue walls. You know, I'm going to come on tomorrow and forget that I did this and I'm still going to have this stupid blue ball. Dennis, what do you got going on? I'm editing more video on, uh, the, uh, intake manifold saga. Oh, uh, intake manifold saga. Yes. We all love saga. That. Uh, it was a lot of work. Yes, so yes, I have, yes. uh, I have a video I'm editing for that, uh, where I'm actually repairing it. And then I have the a little update after I did the repair. And then I have a little, uh, I'm actually going to probably have a little, uh, short on, uh, that I just did today. So, and, uh, then I'm going to be working on a super B after this. 
So what's a super B? A super B was a car that was created in 1968 by Dodge after the Roadrunner was created by Plymouth, and they the cars were B bodies. So they called, they made a coronet and they gave it a bigger end, uh, a big engine and made it the old fast, go fast stuff. And they called it the super B and no. then they ended up doing like little B things with it. And see, that got puzzled going. See, Sin Lu, who's had great name for my new band didn't take manifold saga. <laughs> <laughs> so this behind you is a photo I took in um, Argentina. And I have this, I think it's like 42 by 50 inches up on my wall. That is awesome. Yeah, there you go. I don't know why that's in my thing for stuff that is on my settings, which is kind of weird. Yeah. All right. That's all we got. So that's it for tonight. We will be back tomorrow. There's no guests this week, huh? No, no guest because he's, uh, you know, they're clean. They're getting ready to, to do the have vacation so he can do nothing. Do you think he's on vacation next week? Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. I really, I, I, you say, you say one hundred percent, but I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's traditional. He'll take a vacation next week anyway. Um, but the cleaning out the computer. That's and there's been no announcements about next week at all. Nothing. Literally, he said nothing about next week. Nothing. You know. I would Nothing. love to do a calendar cleaning out the computer thing. Um, I get dinged for this every time, but you know, we might as well leave the show with the ridiculousness that Bon Jovi oh, did Jesus. for uh, the February calendar since it's the 27th. Now, nah, maybe we'll save it for tomorrow. Now, nah, fuck it. We'll do it both nights. Who cares? Let's go to the calendar. February. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm back. American foot boxing wench, red toenails, a nice little snack. Let's. It's almost disgusting. Like you can't even watch it. As as the uh, now departed Xavier has said, uh, Exhibit A. Fuck some so, wench. Uh, nice red toes. They were green. <laughs> Mr. Mr. D, Quentin Tarantino short. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Jared is flatlining. <laughs> the puzzle turned around on that one. See? Oh, my God. I'm crying. All right. We'll play it in its entirety tomorrow, and I will update the calendar tomorrow. But meanwhile... Yay ranch it is time for us to go it is 10 19 and we've done wait we've way too we've, much show we've too much show we've done way, way too much show, much show. Can... hey guys thanks for hanging with us tonight please join us for any further discussion at radiogunk.com in the forum section follow us on instagram and twitter at radio gunk and don't forget to like this and subscribe to us and hit that little bell so you know when we're doing a new show thanks <laughs>